Then, of course, caffeine and alcohol, uh, those are uh, bad things uh, dramatically. Yeah. Especially if you, if I made the, the, the g- g- genetic test, so I have this better absorption of the caffeine, but, uh, but still I am really trying to control it even more. So it's a big, 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 big uh, disaster, especially for the deep sleep, let's say, yeah. the caffeine. It's crazy that you mentioned that because um, I have also a DNA test and I'm, I'm like very sensitive to, to um, caffeine. So I, I stopped it totally. And then at some point I was like, okay, I was like uh, two months without coffee and I went, was like for a pre-workout, I thought, okay, let's treat myself. I used some pre-workout and it was eight in the morning and I couldn't sleep till 4 p.m. the next day because it, 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 I was so sensitive and now with being getting rid of all my coffee sensitivity, I realize how much it has an impact on, on myself who's even more sensitive. 